Okay, hi there. Um, so you've entered the file properties. Uh, you have um, set up a calendar, assigned it to the project, and then you've entered all the tasks and you've entered all the task durations. You've set up a milestone, which in this case is your um, sign lease task. So now you're ready uh, to get into um, some of the last activities of the, um, uh, the task detail, assigning notes, recurring tasks, linking the tasks. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. Uh, so point eight is to attach a note to distribute the boxes task to tell people to label the boxes clearly. So the distribute the boxes task is here in row 13. Uh, and if I go over to the information column and right click, I have the option. To. insert a note. You'll see the note dialog. Uh, so the note I'm going to add is to remind people to label boxes clearly. So that note is there when I hit OK. It's, it's now attached to that task to distribute boxes. And if I hover my mouse over the little post-it note, it tells me what the note is, which is to remind people to label boxes clearly. And um, so that's the uh, attaching a note. I did that by right clicking in the column and choosing notes. I can just as easily do the same action by double clicking distribute boxes. And when the project information dialog box comes up, there's a tab called notes and I can write my note in there. Uh, either method is correct once you get the note attached. Uh, so the next point then is to enter a recurring task for a weekly meeting, one hour duration, repeated for five weeks on a Monday, uh, and then move these meetings to the top of the task list. So I put myself down the bottom of the task list for now, uh, down underneath celebrate. And on the task tab, I go to task and click the down arrow and this time choose a recurring task. So that will open up my recurring task dialog box. The, ta the task name is going to be a team meeting. Uh, and we've said the duration is a hour. So I change it from one day to one H. Uh, and it's going to occur weekly which is what's already selected as the recurrence pattern and um, recurring every one week, which is correct. Uh, and then I need to I tick Monday because it's going to occur on a Monday uh, and it's going to end after five occurrences. Isn't that correct? Five weeks. Yeah. Um, so again, team meeting, one hour duration weekly um, for uh, on a Monday every every one week. Uh, after five occurrences. So you go OK. And that's OK. You can hit yes to that. OK, so you'll now see that you have your your team, your team meeting now because it's been it's been put in on uh, the, the way I put it in. It's gone in under office move and um, you can see that because it's it's tabbed in underneath it. I need to to uh, outdent it twice so that it's I beg your pardon once so that it's um, a, a main task in its own right. Uh, the other thing you were asked, so there you see your five team meetings, one hour duration, uh, one week after another. Um, the other thing you were asked to do was then move it to the top of your project. Uh, to move a, a team meeting first or a, a recurring task, first of all, it has to be minimized. So you highlight your row, you wait for the four arrow mouse mouse like this. When you have that, you click it, you drag it and you drag it to the top of the project. We're going to keep it under office move, but keep it above premises. And we put the team meeting in there. Uh, so it sits there under the office move at the top of the project. So that's the moving of a task, um, which is um, Point number nine to enter a recurring task and move it. Uh, so then point number 10 is to link all tasks. Each task follows from the one before it, except for finalize move, uh, finalize move date, which follows on from the signing of the lease. 
Um, so if you look at, uh, you don't need to worry about your team meetings, but if you look at um, your uh, tasks, it's saying each one follows on from the one before. So um, you don't worry about your team meeting. So your very first task on your project is to speak to agents about the new premises. The very first task of any project doesn't follow anything. So that's left blank. The view premises task is going to follow on from the task above it. The task above it is in row nine. So you say it follows from row nine and you work down through the project like that, putting in the predecessors uh, as you go along. So prepare the presentation for directors happens after you've viewed the premises. So it follows on from row 10, the activity in row 10. Uh, meeting the directors follows on from the activity in row 11. And signing the lease follows on from the activity in row 12. And now you've linked all those tasks together under the view premises. You don't put in um, a predecessor for a summary task because it's automatically calculated. So the next task you look at is order boxes and order boxes is uh, follows on from sign lease. So that follows on sign lease is in row 13. So you put in 13. Get quotes follows on from ordering boxes. Um, so it follows on from 15. And uh, finalize move date, that's the one that is different. It tells you in the handout that finalize move date follows on from the signing of the lease. So the signing of the lease is in 13. So you put in 13 there for finalize move date. So distributing boxes uh, follows on from the one before, which is finalize move. So you put in 17. Uh, and then um, packing boxes after you distribute them. So that's 19. Uh, 20, the, uh, disconnecting the computers follows on from packing the boxes, which is in 20. And then 21 and 22. So that links all of those together. And then you're down to the last leg of the work breakdown structure. You're reassembling furniture follows from uh, moving with truck. So that's 23. And this is 25 because it's the row above it, 26. And the last activity follows on from the one above it, which is 27. And now you see a real project structure taking place on the right hand side with your work breakdown structure and you have all your predecessors in. Uh, so that's task 10 on your on your um handout to link all tasks. Each task follows from the one before except for finalize move date, which follows from sign lease. Uh, so we've done it. We, we've set that up. Moving on to 11 then, all tasks have a finish to start relationship except for disassemble furniture and disassemble computers, which can start at the same time. So everything is standard except for those. So if you go to the dis disassemble furniture because it follows on from disassemble or disconnect computers so if you double click disassemble furniture you will see under predecessors that it follows on from disconnect computers but instead of the standard finish to start relationship they're saying in this case they can start at the same time so here under type you change it to start to start relationship so that means that those two activities can start at the same time and you hit OK and you'll see now that the disassembled furniture uh, doesn't have a 21 anymore. It has a 21 SS, which means it has a start to start relationship. And that addresses the um, what you're asked in, in point number 11. Uh, we're nearly we're nearly there now. Point number 12 makes the point that distributing boxes cannot take place until after January 2nd. Uh, so that means that you're putting in a constraint. So distributing your boxes has a constraint. Instead of happening as it currently does on the 19th of December, it cannot happen until after January or the, first, the 2nd of January. So you double click distribute boxes and under the um, uh, under the um, advanced tab, 
Uh, the constraint type by default on every activity is to start as soon as possible. In this case, we're saying no, it can start no earlier than. So start no earlier than we change the constraint type to that. And then over here, we put in the 2nd of January. So the 2nd of the 1st. Twenty thirteen, and you hit OK to that, and you'll see now there's a big jump out here on the right hand side in the activity because that's um, when the boxes cannot be distributed for that period, so that's um, affecting the time of your project. So that's putting in a constraint of a start no earlier than, and the final thing you're asked to do in your project is to put in what's called a lag and a lag is where something isn't going to happen for a number of days uh, and in this case the celebration isn't going to happen until 10 days after you've unpacked so if you double click celebrate again your project information your uh, task information dialog will come up uh, and under predecessor tab again over here on the right hand side, you have the option to set a lag. And in this case, we're doing a 10 day lag. And we so we put 10 in there under lag and we hit OK. And you see now it's got slightly different predecessor. It says it's a finish to start, which is the same as everything else. But it's got um, a plus 10 days. So your celebration happens 10 days later. And that brings you through the first part of the assignment, all through the setting up of tasks, linking of tasks, the constraints, etc. So save your file and you can move on to the next part of the assignment.